Good morning. It is day three in Freiburg and we're about to go to our morning set. We're playing at 10 o'clock. Then following that, it's really sunny at the moment, but it's meant to thunderstorm later. So I think we'll try and do as much exploring and sightseeing as we can after our set, because yesterday we were here on the stand for the rest of the day. We'll keep you guys updated. To the place of the We've finished our first set now and we are going to go and try and find that geocache that I mentioned the other day, the one that's in the cathedral tower. So that's where we're off to next. Then we're going to have another look round, hopefully go on the funicular that goes up, up the uh, hill. There he is, on his banana phone again. So hopefully we will find the geocache, but I might film if we can in the cathedral and show you what it is in case any of you are wondering what geocaching is. Let's go! So we've come to the square to go up the tower and there's this amazing market on it's huge thank you shen thank you thank you thank you These are the strawberries we grabbed at the market. Biggest strawberries I've seen. Maybe not ever, but in a long time. Delicious. Good? Yeah. But Briggs thinks they don't compare at all to British strawberries. I wouldn't say they're more bland, but they taste very different. We're heading up the tower. It's a good hill train. No luck yet on the geocache. Um, and this is that big stage we showed on the first day where they've been having lots of concerts. So they had an orchestra kind of concert and they had a DJ last night. Briggs is on a mission to find the geocache, so I don't know quite where he's gone. Look at this rain. The rain has come in, but we managed to do the tower and now we're going to try and go on the funicular, even if it just means going up there and back down if there's no shelter at the top. We've hit a bit of a lull now. We've both Nine. Just super tired, I guess, after being yeah. busy the last yeah, few days. Yeah. So we've stopped at a cafe. Briggs has just got back from. She was meant to get the bill. How do you know I didn't get the bill? Because it's not here yet. So we've come up this huge tower, which I actually thought was a telegraph phone tower. It has this. But it's not, it's a really cool um, viewpoint where you can see around the whole area. Yeah, it's awesome. And it has, wait, I'll show you. So I'm on the top platform, which is tiny, like one person. And now I'll go down so some other people can come up. It's very, very wobbly though. <laughs> Talking to the fans. I love stuff like this, where these roots are growing like in line with the paving stones for this tree, I assume. Briggs is on a mission for another geocache. We found the one in the tower in the end, but I didn't remember to get the camera out and show how it worked. So what it is, is you have a map like this, 
and it shows you the point where it is and if you want you can have a hint as to where to find it and it'll be like either a little film canister or it might be a big Tupperware box with something hidden in it. Sometimes it's kind of a magnetic thing on something like this and it has this logbook you can sign to say you found it. So we've established it's on one of these bikes. Oh, I think Briggs has found it. You need a magnet. So this is, is that the geocache symbol? Yeah. Yeah, so it's very faded now. That's the symbol for geocaching. Yeah, Not in here? No, you need a magnet with a piece of string uh... to get it so probably need, It's probably in there. Yeah, it's quite difficult this one. It's that shiny thing at the bottom down there. We can't do that, unfortunately. But cool location for it, hey? Are you going to come back with a magnet and a piece of string tomorrow? No. <laughs> Unless one magically appears. Oh my god, there's crocodile in the river, look. Oh, we actually found it. Hey. We found these in the supermarket just over the road from us. Pom bears, but Pringle style. Um, I thought they were gonna taste more like pom bears. To me, they are Pringles in the shape of bears. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It always decides to film when we're crossing a road. <laughs> it's because it's when it's... I have to be the person you guys are across the road. <laughs> it's because it's when it's least busy. <laughs> um, we've just been to a wine tasting, in case you can't tell from the fact that Briggs has actually spoken in the vlog without Another embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> without embarrassment. Um, yeah, we went to the vineyard and had a delicious dinner. It was so nice. Um, I was terrible at filming just because we were chatting to everybody. Sorry for this horrible video quality. It's raining. And it's raining too. Tomorrow is our last day. We're flying home tomorrow evening. So, um, got to make the most of tomorrow, even if the weather's like this. Hope you've enjoyed the little clips from today. I think today's been a bit more chaotic, but we will see you tomorrow morning. Hello everyone, this is day four. This is our last day, so we've just done a trip with some of the others. We are now in this really pretty town called Braisa, and we've spent most of today in the town just wandering around trying to find this history tour of geocaches. We've just got all the clues and now we need to put all the details in the app to find where the actual box is. is on a geocache mission. This one you have to go around to all the different signs and get certain information that then leads to the coordinates to find the box. So educational and some might say fun. <laughs> We've actually only got about an hour left here before we need to head to the airport. Oh, damn it. How many years passed between the acquisition of citizenship and the death of Martin Schnongrauer? Schnongrauer. We must have taken a picture of that. It's been a plot twist. We've missed one of the signs, so we need to go back and find it. Not for me, unless you want us to not make it home today. Mm -hmm. 